and we'll update you on the storm later in this broadcast. Now to the presidential campaign with 53 days left to go. So much of this campaign is playing out on television, not just on news programs. As with Sarah Palin's first major interview last night, the candidates are also showing up on late night talk shows, comedy shows. And in John McCain's case today, a popular daytime program, The View. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell reports. Today, with millions of women watching daytime TV, John McCain was the guest. But Governor Sarah Palin was often the topic. But the fact is, I think she's a great person. She's a great uh, governor. The usually safe venue of the talk show couch today reflected some of the campaign's increasingly sharp tone. Like this exchange about Palin's record on earmarks, those pork barrel projects. Uh, she also took some earmarks. Uh, uh, no, uh, not as governor she didn't. She, uh, she vetoed. Uh, well, look. The fact is that she was a reform governor. She sold the airplane. She fi fired the chef. She, she sold the airplane she, at a loss. Palin has reduced but not eliminated the number of Alaska's earmarks since becoming governor. She remained in Alaska today doing more of that major TV interview after she appeared to pass the first round. She made no major mistakes. Uh, she made few minor ones. She was on message. One awkward moment. Palin seemed not to know a term used to describe the president's policy on preemptive war when the U.S. is threatened. Do you agree with the Bush doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? Palin asserted her view. I believe that America has to exercise all options in order to stop the terrorists who are hell-bent on destroying America and our allies. She managed to get through the question by getting reasonably close to what the Bush doctrine is. The McCain campaign is aggressively defending Palin. Their radar is on, looking for any slight or gender bias they perceive. In a new TV ad, McCain is accusing Obama's campaign of treating Palin with disrespect. Dismissed her as good-looking. That backfired, so they said she was doing what she was told. Palin is second on the ticket, but the McCain campaign appears okay with letting her top the attention for now. Kelly O'Donnell, NBC News, Washington.